Andrew dro- joins us now, and I tell you, I'm getting phone calls from all across the region about mm. about the smoke. I mean, mm-hmm. the street lights in Harlan, my hometown, are actually coming on because it's so dark because of the smoke. Yeah, we had Caleb, one of our reporters, call and say that too, and we're having the smoke really reduce visibility, and it's causing problems with breathing, and this is something that with rain will at least eliminate that problem for a day. Check out Cumberland. This sent in from Samantha. You could see just the smoke there, and um, pretty much this is the deal that southeastern Kentucky has been dealing with now, even in Jackson, as the smoke continues to fall in. And we'll really uh, start to watch rain chances filter out this smoke in eastern Kentucky as we head into uh, really the next several hours. Now, visibility across southeastern Kentucky, five miles is what you can see in Harlan. Once again, the normal values are 10 miles. Prestonsburg at seven. And with this rain, this will actually filter some of this out, but we could Continue to look at that moderate drought really for all of the state here, all the way across eastern Kentucky through Bowling Green, Paducah, and we need the rainfall. And you'll notice on pinpoint Doppler, you look along I-75 thinking, is that all the rain we're getting? You said 40%, Andrew. Well, hold on. We look across the Ohio River up to your northwest. That's where the rain is falling, and you'll notice the reason that rain's not progressing eastward. Look at our dew points, 32 degree dew point in Harlan, 38 in Prestonsburg for rain to fall and for these storms and showers to continue. We need 50 degree dew points or higher and that's where that heavier rain across the Ohio River is situated 54 degrees. It's going to be working its way down southeastward temperatures at 65 in Prestonsburg, 63 in Harlan, 64 in Middlesbrough. And you'll notice here comes the cold front we talked about. Main threat for rain is going to be around 9 o'clock into around 3 a.m. This is going to be something we look at throughout the overnight portion and then notice cooler temperatures, a few lingering showers for your Wednesday morning, and then we're clearing out with cooler weather until another cold front moves through. Here's a look at tomorrow on your 12 hour planner. You'll see low temperatures, 45 degrees, 53 degrees as we head to two o'clock and then we're clearing out by tomorrow night. Look at temperatures, 53 for your Wednesday, 35 degrees as we head into Wednesday night. Sunny conditions at 61 on Thursday, 61 as well for Veterans Day and then a secondary cold front. No rain chances comes in and we look at lows 52 and look at this widespread frost 28 degrees as we head into Saturday and Sunday in Eastern Kentucky. Get ready for that because we haven't felt that air in quite some time. No, that's going to be chilly, but the bad news is after rain today, there's nothing else in the forecast. I'm glad you caught on to that. No rain in the next seven days, so mm. another repeat forecast, kind of like what we dealt with last week. Yeah, thank you, Andrew.